Hey, hey you guys, this is Ada with Ada Sweets. I'm back again with another video. Today is a little bit different than eating. I'm actually cooking today. So, um, today I will be showing you, I guess in a sense, my way of making some chili. Like, this is not my homemade way, of course. This is my quick way of making chili. With limited um, ingredients due to the virus, you know, like, of course, you know, in the stores, it's like, things are limited. So, this is our quarantine meal, baby. Quarantine meal. This is how I'm going to make it because of uh, lack of ingredients in the grocery store. And y'all didn't feel like cutting on the big old lights. So, I got my light on my um, tripod on, actually. So, um... Yeah, I can see everything. If you can't, I will um definitely um as we go on and it don't show well on here, I will cut on the big light. Um, but anyways, until that time come, but um come on up in here, honey, and see and watch me cook a quarantine meal. Um, when you come on in this room, please hit that subscribe button, please, please hit the subscribe button. I'm on the road to fifty subbies. And I would be very happy if you hit the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the notification button so you know when your girl is on. And yeah, let's get into this video because, honey, I'm hungry. And um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, um, I have <clears throat> the uh, Wolf Brand Chili. And this has, it has beans in it. And that's what I want it. And honestly, y'all, the reason why I had got reason why I got these was because I couldn't find any ground beef at the time. Now I have some ground beef, so um, yeah, I'm gonna um use the ground beef, and I'm put that and make my own lit mixture, and then I'm put this on top of it. Um, yeah, cause I want the beans in there, and I don't want to have to cook no beans and all that stuff, you know. Anywho. So, we're finna go and put this uh, ground beef in here. Y'all got a roll of uh, ground beef. It's just me and my husband, but honey, we gonna have chili for a couple days. We're gonna have some, some chili, baby. I just realized I ain't got a knife. Uh, one knife over here. I'm gonna use these scissors. Give me one second and we get this ground beef in here. And once I get it in here, then I'm gonna start opening up the cans and showing y'all a little bit more what I'm doing. Okay. I might end you up know, cutting on um, the big light. Just, I'm just used to the big light, yeah. I think that's what I might do. I'm going to put this on. Get it cooking and going. Bring y'all down so y'all can see what I'm doing.
going to be a lot. Because I used half of the roll to make, um, I made tacos. So, once I cooked it down and everything, it is like a lot at all. Literally. So, we're going to, um, we're going to let that cook. Let me put my onions, my dehydrated onions in there. Bro. put some green onions in there. We put dehydrated onions in there. I put um I'm gonna put green onions in there. And y'all I always put my dehydrated onions in first. I don't season it. Like while I'm cooking my ground beef. Like once because see I cook all of my liquids pretty much out of my ground beef and then I uh season it like it'd be a little bit left but not a lot. But, um, but yeah, I put the dehydrated stuff like my onions or whatnot off up in there. So, while the liquids are actually coming out of the ground beef, it's actually make it's soaking up the liquids and, um, bringing them back from the dead. Because, <laughs> as you can say, I guess, because, um, the onions are dehydrated. So, just adding that liquid back into it. Okay. I got my my uh yeah, I'm about to say green, but I got my yellow bell pepper. I'm gonna use it. Okay, we just gonna rinse this real quick. So yeah, I can uh, see.
And y'all, of course, I'm probably not going to end up using all these. But what I don't use, I'm just going to bag up and freeze. Of course, I'm only going to chop up what I need. And um, what I don't use, like I said, it's going to be bag up froze. Dual purposes, honey. Ain't nobody got time to be uh waste no food then. Eh? Or as they go. How everything going then? Let's see, let's go back to survival, honey. Not that I ever lost, I mean, left out of it, but you know. If, to survive a skills and if you don't if you ain't never been there you need to find it honey you need to find it it's how it is now everything is scarce As I said, y'all, like I said, it looked like a lot of ground beef, but it really isn't. Like, once it cooked down, it's really nothing. It's more water, fats, and all that than anything. Chopping it up real, real small pieces because I don't want all those big chunky pieces up in there. And now is the best time to actually like chop it up into those little small little pieces. Of course, I ain't gonna get every piece, but you know. Not right now, at least anyways. I would took some onions out and um like an actual onion. So y'all, I'm I'm not gonna put I'm probably I don't know because I put onions in here and you don't really see them. So I might have to add some more in there. But for right now, 
this is all I'm finna put up in here for us bell peppers wise. I might put some dehydrated uh, bell peppers to give it a little bit more color, like you know the red peppers and the green peppers. Cause um I think in that the uh, bell pepper mix that I have, like the dehydrated one, it don't have uh this color in it. it has the red and the green ones in it. At least I don't think it do. We just gonna put them on for a bit and let them cook and and soak up some of those juices. Making a mess and yes. Make sure we just get them bell peppers. I'll hop in the juice juices so that they can go on ahead and and get a little translucent too and cook and then we'll just uh we what we do end up we just end up pouring the um the juice off of the uh ground beef and then we're gonna um I think what I'm going to do is put this, go ahead and start this right now in another pot, get it going, and that way all I got to do is um mix the two together, and then I'll chill it up be ready. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Got another pot over here, so I think I'm just going to, okay. Let's do this. Move that out the way. And we're just going to um, put this in there. So just in case, you know, you follow along with me or if you want to uh, come back to this and actually try this, these the ones I got. Um, I got this these from Kroger's actually. I got the ones with the beans and the ones that has no beans in them. And it says it on the um label it'll say no beans. But um but yeah. how it look not really advertising but we, we gonna make it work honey How have y'all days been? Smell pretty good though compared to how it kind of looks, you know.
know, it's giving me a quite a bit, you know. I think we're gonna put a little water in it just to thin it out just a little bit. Once I add my ground beef up up in there, it's gonna really thin on out and look like some chili, baby. Okay, give me one second now. Okay, so it definitely don't look very advertising. But once I get everything off up in there, yeah, it's gonna be good. Let's check on my ground beef real quick. It smells good, y'all. Especially with those bell peppers, onions, all up in there. It's gonna smell even better once I season it. I have to add just a little hair of more water, but we're gonna put this on because our ground beef is gonna be ready in no time. Just a little bit more water in there.
So pretty much the chili is just our base for um in the uh, canned chili. It's pretty much just our base for making our chili. That's all it is, pretty much. Alrighty, y'all. And, um, oh, that's what I forgot about. It. Just that quick. Um, so, we're gonna do a recap of what we did. Um, because that's pretty much it. Besides the seasoning. So, you're gonna season it however you wanna season it. But, I guess you wanna see how I season it too. You know, let's see. Okay. What we're going to do is... Sorry about the thing, guys. But what we're going to do is we're going to drain the water off of the ground beef. And um, y'all going to see me seasoning how I want it seasoned. And um, y'all can follow along and do how I'm doing it. Or y'all can, you know, adjust to your own taste. But um, y'all get a chance to see that. And um, yeah. Give me one second, y'all. Put y'all back down. Sorry about this. Hmm. All right, here I go. Here we go. Okay, as you can see, I've drained the look off of it. As you can still see the ground beef and the, um, you can still see, I'm sorry, you can still see the um, bell peppers. They have cooked down off of in there. So, okay, why you want to bring that heat down some? Because it's going to start back cooking. Let's see. Get y'all to a bit. Now I'm just putting a little Creole seasoning. Put a little roasted garlic. Let's turn this on low edge. Because it's still a, it's still cooking. So we don't want it to burn anything like that. So we're just gonna turn it down. That's garlic. <laughs> and then this is uh the Chicago steak seasoning, y'all. I love this. Like it's not just for steaks, it's for anything, y'all. And I love the, the seasoning. So, I put it on, I season a lot of my stuff with it. I season all meats with it. I even season some of my vegetables with it, y'all, for real. And maybe, like, I'm putting a lot up in here. But you got to keep in mind that your uh, ground beef is going to be your seasoning. I don't like salty food. So, period. If they say period, poo, I don't I like those salty foods. And here goes the uh, actual uh, 
dehydrated sweet bell peppers and as you can see on there it do not have the yellow one in there it has only the green and the red in there and I'm trying to show y'all how it looks there you go well y'all get the picture some onion powder. Y'all have already seen the green onions from earlier, the same green onions. Alright, just a little onion powder. put the rest of this up in here if I can get all of it out. And we're going to stir our chili. Uh, it's already trying to stick on me. Let me cut that down. Alright, y'all. And as you can see, Everything's ready to be mixed together, and that's it, y'all. So, um, until next time, um, please like and share this video. But until next time, y'all, if you can't if you can't have a good day, don't go messing up nobody else's day. If you can't have a good day, but until next time, deuces, much love.